Hey guys, pilots, RC guys, tankers. <laughs> uh, we're starting on the Challenger. I thought you'd like to see it before I get started on it. Give you a little close up here. And you see this one actually just kind of looks nice out of the box. And there's not a whole lot of accessories on this one, guys. I mean, we're just looking at uh, one, two, three, four, five, just about maybe eight different little, little trays of parts on this one. So uh, it shouldn't be too bad this time around. Um, still going to do it real quick in speed fashion so you don't have to watch it and, and sit here and wait. And uh, we're going to try and make this one a little bit quicker. Okay? See you in a bit. Hey pilots, YouTubers, RC tankers, and guys out there, uh, this actually went pretty good. After uh, you know, after the the learning curve on on the first one, uh, this one went together really fast, not a problem. I did do some gluing on it, uh, and not all of it was mandatory, but a lot of them, a lot of stuff. Even though it fit tight, you know, a bump would take it off. So I decided to glue most of the stuff that I could, especially around areas where your hands are going to grab and things. You know, I didn't want that stuff falling off. But let me fire it up for you here real quick. This one, this one works pretty good. And I wanted to show you a, a couple different things for it. Okay, so we fire it up. I didn't want to forget the smoke this time. This stuff's not good for in the house though guys. It does have a little bit of a little bit of fume to it. But yeah, it comes out, it comes out both sides. It comes out pretty good too. Yeah, it, this one smokes really good, really good. The uh, uh, 
leopard tank smokes pretty good. This one smokes fair, it comes out the side, it puffs, but it's not as good as these two. Um, something I wanted to show you here, now you hear the sound of this thing, right? And the way it started up. Here's the startup on this one. Shuts the tank down, but when you start it up, you get a different sound, different engine. You get your smoker, you get your diesel. Now listen to the turn on this one. sounds by hitting K and your machine gun at the same time on this guys. stuff here too and if you notice the thing doesn't track right you can adjust the fine tuning for the forward left and right uh, when you're backing it up if it turns to curve a little bit you can adjust that left or right so you can get it going in a nice straight line um, all those functions and there's a lot more are listed on the back of here and then in the instruction manual uh, there's a whole lot more uh, some of them are listed for the version 7.1 board that I imagine is going to be coming out pretty soon where it actually features gyroscopic function, guys, which is really kind of cool. Uh, you can spin your tank and your turret will stay where it was pointed. Just like on an airplane or something, it writes. So if, if the tank moves, the turret stays where it was at. So you can spin the tank around and the turret will stay there. In fact, they're coming up with the, coming out. They've got the 3D, uh, the 360 rings. I don't think that's a great idea, guys, because I've been inside this thing and the wiring harness that goes down there, it's not made to be twisted around. So if you forget how many times you've turned it around, you could be in a, you know, looking at a problem there. But uh, that wraps it up for this video, guys. I'll, I'll uh, go through some more functions and controls, and then we'll get these units out and uh, do some testing. I want to get the Leopard going here and get that put together. Um, but when the weather, when the weather uh, uh, prescribes, you know, allows, I um, want to get these things out with the crash desk boys and have a little bit of fun. Okay, so we'll see you later. For now, this is Skip signing out, over and out. Thanks for watching. Guys, got these from Motion RC, all right? The, uh, there's an Abrams on the way. <laughs> Professional model. I had to get one just to see what the difference was with the wheels and the tracks. I think I'm going to like the metal on them, quite frankly. And I ordered uh, upgraded tracks for the Leopard and for this channel and for the challenger the t90 i haven't done anything else with um, because of the battery compartment size you can't really put anything bigger than the 1800 in there so putting any more weight on the thing would really cut down its its uh its performance or runtime. these guys here they've got the big 3500s in there and the battery compartments 
big enough, I could put even a bigger battery in them if I want to. So the upgrade is going to be cool. The Abrams will be the same way. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. We will catch you later. Remember, Motion RC for all your RC needs, guys. I am not a, uh, a paid solicitor, by the way. That's just a freebie. They've taken good care of me, and uh, they got these things to me in a hurry. And they've taken care of uh, the Tamiya issues and sent me batteries with connectors, and we just changed out the plugs, and everything's cool. All right? Take care, guys. See you around. See you at the field. Okay, Garmin, stop recording.